Okay, delayed sweep. Uh, we're going to be talking about this funny little knob. Um, this is a, an all silver knob on tectonics oscilloscopes, usually right there, like a 465 scope and stuff, but it has a multi-turn multi -turn pod on it. And the other thing we're going to talk about is why is this knob so complicated? It's got an outer knob and an inner knob, and so these things go together. So what we're going to do here is we're going to show a 555 timer, and a 555 timer has a output of a square wave, but it also has a timing circuit where it charges up a capacitor and discharges a capacitor. It goes up to two thirds of the voltage and then down to one third of the voltage, two thirds, one third. And that's how a, a 555 timer works. So that's what we're looking at, channel, channel, uh, channel one, channel two, looking at those two things. Now we could, uh, we could separate them. We could put uh, this one up here. We could put this one down here. But I want to look at them at the same time so we see the relative differences. So I want them on the same, the same vertical axis. So I'm going to ground both of them. And I'm going to say, OK, I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to put his ground here. And I'm going to put this one. I'm going to overlap those two grounds. Now they have the same ground. And now they'll be matching. This switch here is a little funky. Sorry. I need to go put some contact cleaner on it. There we go. Um, so this is what we want to look at. Now, um, what we want to look at is maybe a little, a little piece of it. Maybe we'll want to zoom in here. So how do we zoom in there? Well, it it goes off the it goes off the side when we when we zoom in. It's over there somewhere. Um, so how do we zoom in? Well, we're going to hit a button here that says um, A intensified by B. Okay, or just what this one just says A intensified. Okay, and if we change the intensity of this thing, you'll notice there's a a bright section and then a dimmer section. So you need to adjust it so you can kind of see both at the same time. You can see that highlighted section and then the, and then the other section. And then use this knob to move it around. It'll move. See how it moves? Okay. So the time base on the big picture is the outer ring here. Okay. That changes the whole big picture. Okay. And the little picture is the inner one. You can see how that gets longer and shorter, okay? So we want to we want to set this so that it's the area that we want to zoom in. So we want to we want to zoom in about that much, and we want to kind of like zoom in on that particular thing. So we're going to center it on where all that stuff is happening. We're going to center it there. So this sets the amount of zoom that we want, and this sets where do we want the zoom to happen, okay? And then. If we want the zoom to happen, then we hit, hit the B button. And there it is. There's our zoom. And we can move, we can still move it back and forth, but remember we're zooming in on that one little area there, right? Right? So we're, we're gonna zoom in on this, and that's where we're zoomed in. Now if we want to see everything at the same time, we can hit this button, and now we can kind of all see it together. Um, it's a bit complicated. We can move uh, we can move these things up. And then we can move this thing down, and we can kind of see them together. But um, I think it's better to to show it the way I did. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can put them all on the same page to give you to give you an idea. So we're going to go back to A. We're going to have to set our grounds again. So uh, we are going to set this ground to here. Set this ground to the same spot. Okay, and um, we'll go back. And we'll turn these smaller. Okay, so there we go. Now we can see this is where we're going to be. We're going to be looking at, and then we'll use the zoom function down here somewhere. Okay, so we did that. That A intensified. We'll figure out where we want to zoom in. We, we want to zoom in here this time. Let's say we're going to zoom in there, right? So we can zoom in, and there it is. Um, but we could also do this alt thing, which is going to show us both. And with this scope, I can move it. So here I can see both at the same time. I can see where we're zooming in, and I can see what we've zoomed in all, all at the same time. Okay. Or if I just want to see one of them. So anyway, you can see how this how this works. Um, these things are actually calibrated. So if I have the um, so I should explain what's going on. So we're triggering on the left-hand side of the picture, right? The triggering is going to set 
what happens right at the very, very beginning. We can trigger on the positive edge or the negative edge, but it's going to always going to happen right at right there. And then once that trigger happens, we can delay in a certain amount, right? And that's set by this knob and by this. And um, so if we move this all the way over, we're right at the beginning, okay? And if we read this knob, it says zero, zero. We are there. We're, we're right at zero, zero. If we move it over to that first um, division, this says one. If we move it to the second division, it says two, two, zero. I know that's really hard to see on, on the picture there, but trust me, this says two. So this is calibrated exactly to go across here. In the middle, it should say exactly five. Uh, we're at 4.9, 5.0, or right at the center there, right? So this, this knob is actually calibrated, and that's why it's such an expensive component, All right? We can go right here, and we can say I want to zoom in there. So we're having a pretty small picture here. The zoomed picture is the same as the unzoomed picture. So if we want to make it big, we're going to have to adjust these things to make them look big. So that's why I had it set up the way it was the first time. So we'll, we'll do it again here. Um, we will set the two grounds, put this ground here, we'll put this ground here, we'll go back to DC and wiggle this switch because it's <laughs> dirty. Oh, come on, you can do it there. Uh, I need to go in with some top contact cleaner, sorry. There, perfect. And then when we zoom in, we'll see the same size picture. So I hope that helps. Um, you can make this really, really small. You can zoom in on just a tiny, tiny little thing. And then it gets really, really dark and you can't see it. So you need to turn up the intensity and you turn up the intensity and then you can start to see what's going on and then it's not triggering nicely. So you'll have to play with the trigger to try to get it to calm down. And this is why you want a digital oscilloscope. <laughs> um, It's, it's just touchy. Analog scopes are just touchy, sorry. All right, I hope that helps. Uh, gives you an idea of what does the inner knob do? What does the outer knob do? Big picture, zoom, and then where to zoom.